It's Robocop! Surrender your weapons. Oh, he's coming! No chance! Light him up! Smoke him out! Open the door, or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo! Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant! And don't you dare open that door, I'll shoot you! Have it your way.
It's getting colder. And now we don't have anything for the fire. Uh, how was I supposed to know someone would steal our old tires? One that likes swimming in oil surely must be swimming in money. steal my cart. Look what he's done! Have I just wrecked your life savings? Tough shit, stinker. Antisocial behavior towards a fellow citizen can be classified as a crime. You can go, but remember that mistreating another member of society is like singing off-key. It disrupts Harmony. Harmony, my ass! I can't believe you're letting him go! If that's how you operate, you... You might as well jump in my cart with the rest of the scrap! This Maurice. Listen, man, I'm really swamped with the laundry right now, so make it quick. So you would not want to earn some money, would you? I don't! I mean, I do. I do want to earn money. But wait, your voice. You sound like... A future happy customer. A fucking Robocop! You want to bust me? Why don't you do a better job of finding guys who vandalized phone boots? I'm losing customers because they can't find working payphone in this goddamn... What the fuck is it this time? Anybody home? Don't hide, Maurice. It's just a friendly visit. You like to do laundry? You should try working at the laundromat instead of violating the basic rules. Robocop, you have to help me! The back of the red building by the supermarket! Apartment 6! 
There's some guys here! I think they mean business! Hurry! He's on the phone! Start shooting again. Make sure the kids hide under the bed.
Listen, guys. I'll never touch your stuff again. I swear. That's not why we're here. So what do you want? The money? I have your money. You only have half of it, and that's the problem. You're selling our product at half price. That makes my customers complain about my prices. It ain't nice, Maurice. Maybe you think that building a customer base by selling your product under its manufacturing costs is a good idea. Under what? But it's not. Such practices are spoiling the market. It's been proven time and time again that such action leads to a reduction of future demand, yours included. Antitrust laws are there for a reason. Shit, Maurice! All we want to say is that you violate the basic rules of the market with your predatory pricing. We can't just go along with that. It's unfair and unethical! Not to mention illegal. The fuck? You are under arrest. Come quietly, or this may be the last economics discussion you will ever have. Get him! Oh shit, man! Why did you do that? What am I gonna sell now? There are serious charges against you, Maurice. However, you can hope for a reduced sentence if you reveal where these three dealers keep their drugs. Or, I can jump into that pile of garbage below. A few bruises is better than jail! Do you know what the likelihood is of surviving that? I know the hood better than you do, cop! So try some different talk! Or I'll jump! You can die. The likelihood that the jump will not be fatal is 9%. And that was supposed to convince me? 9 out of 10 is almost a short thing! See ya! I heard your daughter was promoted to executive, huh? Why not ask her for help? I'd rather ask the devil. My daughter is cold. Evening, officer. Why do you think they promoted
some metal Just look who it is! You need to talk some manners. <laughs> Give him a warm welcome!
Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh man, all great questions, but uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Hey, I, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. What is your freedom worth to you? <laughs> That's actually a great point. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. But that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Lewis, Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the old slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickles. Eh, <laughs> and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. This one time, I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. I went after them, hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know? But it turned out to be groceries, so they left it. I made a pretty penny that day selling Pickles. Still have a couple of jars laying around if you want them. So you are an opportunist. Hey, I prefer a street entrepreneur. You know what they say, a good business is where you find it. <laughs>